It's time for the highlight reel. We're going to speed through the stories that stood out to us during the day and tell you why they matter. And we're going to do it all, yes, believe it, in 100 seconds. Let's put the time up on the clock. Jackie, ready mm -hmm. and set and let's go. So mid-October, that's when Treasury Secretary Jack Lew says the federal government will hit the debt ceiling again. Oh, there's <laughs> going to be another fight. So uh, he sent a letter to John Boehner yesterday notifying him of this. He said today on CNBC, uh, he's, uh, the president is not going to be negotiating on the debt limit. To uh, Boehner said yesterday, the day he received the letter, we're going to have a whale of a fight. Whale of so, a fight. Whale of a fight. <laughs> South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, Republican, will seek a second term. Now, of course she's going to seek a second term. You say, well, her numbers aren't great. There was some right. question she might not. Here's what's interesting. Kind of a Republican murderer's row of governors were there for her. Scott Walker, Bobby Jindal, everybody, uh, Rick Perry of Texas, sort of everybody there to celebrate right, Nikki Haley. So uh, Homeland Security Secretary Jan Janet Napolitano gave her farewell dress today. She's not officially done until the first week of September, but she um, talked about the Boston bombings, praised certain pl parts of her career, talked about comprehensive immigration reform. But the money quote was, uh, the, D the new DHS secretary will need a large bottle of Advil. I have a large bottle of Advil. Maybe I'm in the <laughs> running. Sarah Palin is backing the defund Obamacare movement. Not terribly surprising. She put out a statement in the Senate Conservatives Fund, which is sort of where all the op opposition to Obamacare and defunding it is sort of sitting at the moment. Ted Cruz, those sorts of folks. She said, this beast must be stopped. Uh, beast must be stopped. Stop it in its so, tracks. So, Kentucky Senate candidate Matt Bevin made an embarrassing mistake when he filed his paperwork to run for Mitch McConnell's seat. So he forgot to say what state he was running for se the Senate seat was for. Huh? Now, here's the thing. You're running against Mitch McConnell. You can't really make these mistakes. They've already started hitting him for this they've already po they're already poking fun at him he will pick you apart yep no mistakes can't make any mistakes that's all the time we have today folks but if you have a story for us that should be included in the highlight reel highlight reel let Whoa. us know on twitter using the hashtag in play